Hi, I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, I don't just say that. I actually mean it for the people who are new here. <coughs> All of the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so let's see where we are headed in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, there's a quite a few messages that I need to put out. So first thing is some of you are being blocked by your past life, something from your past life. This could be someone trying to repeat timelines with you or something like that. I received that message yesterday. Someone could be trying to repeat um, timelines, like keep you stuck in the past life, right? In your past life, because they don't want you to ascend because by ascending, you would leave them in the dust. Okay. This could be a karmic or this could be your twin. Okay. It, take it how it resonates. So what is holding back the feminine from the past life? Well, let's ask first, is there something from the Divine Feminine's past life holding her back? Is there something from the Divine Feminine's past life holding her back? Yeah, it's a past life relationship. This is a past life relationship. This is like countless lifetimes. How many lifetimes have they had together? Three. Is it three or three? Is it three? It's three. <laughs> three came out again. So you've been with this person for three lifetimes. Oh, Lord. Okay. What's holding Divine Feminine back? And keeping her tied to this past life person. Egypt. So you had a past life in Egypt. Something about Egypt here. And a baby. It's a baby. Have had a child together. Wow. And somebody was a monk or a nun. Money. So... Money from a, so you struggled in your past life financially. So most of you, so the divine feminine, divine feminine, if you just can't seem to get your finances together, that's because this is carried over from a past life. You have past life financial trouble as well. There's something about Egypt and a baby or a monk or a nun um, that's keeping you bound to keep repeating this. I don't. And I feel like this is a child that's a star seed because this looks like an alien hand. You know how in the movies they do like that, right? I swear I think this child is a um a star seed or a rainbow child or a crystal child. Is this child a star seed? There's something, I feel like you lost this child. Yeah, they're saying, yes, this child is a star seed. You lost this child. This was a child you lost. Um, did she lose this child in every lifetime? Wow. It's a yes. In every lifetime, you lost this child. Okay, so how is this holding, um, how is Egypt and the baby and monk or nun and finances holding Divine Feminine back? Thirty-three, thirty-three, excuse me, thirty-three is significant here. I feel like it has something to do with the child. Did she have to give up something in order to save the child again in this lifetime? 
or to save the child in this lifetime. Three again. This is a yes. You had to end something. What had to end to in order to save the child? A relationship. Yeah, something had, so this happened four years ago. Four years ago is what Spirit told me. And that was 2019. The ending of a relationship occurred in order to save the child. In order to prevent... This is going to get a little deep, but in order to prevent the loss of the child. Divine Feminine chose the child. I don't feel like this is conscious. I feel like this was spiritual, right? So you may not even have been aware of this at the time. 13 is significant because 9 plus 4 is 13 and we have 13 down here too. So 13 is significant. Definitely something about 13. And I also keep seeing 928. Like, I saw that yesterday. My neighbor has a license plate that says 928. And I wrote that down because I was instructed to write that down. There's something important about that date. But... Yeah, so something about your finances and Egypt and the baby. Okay, like, um, why did she have to give up this relationship in order to save the child? This is about setting your boundaries because this person was a karmic. This is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This was either a karmic or this was a karmic cycle. 29 could be significant. Clarify the world. Clarify the world. Yeah, you were stuck in a karmic cycle. Told you 29 was significant. 29 came out again. You were stuck or this person was stuck. What does that have to do with the baby? This could be the father of the child. 21 is significant too. So the year 21 could be significant. That was two years ago. What happened two years ago? Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. 69 could be significant. Somebody could be a, a Cancer because if you know the Cancer's logo, the Cancer logo is 6-9 or it looks like a 6-9, right? Okay. 
I feel like this karma has ended because of this person or something like that. Like, um, two years ago. Yeah, they're saying yes. So this is over. So in order to prevent loss of the child, that has already occurred. You've already made sure that the that you're not going to lose this child. Is that correct? The loss of the child is not going to happen. Is that correct? That's correct. So you transmuted that Ten of Swords into the Three of Cups. So you've already did that, okay? You've already defeated that part, I guess. So that... So is it no longer affecting her? So is this no longer affecting this person? Is this no longer affecting this person? I feel like you still kind of have a fear. Yeah, it's still in your mind or your consciousness, but you've already defeated it. Okay. Um, so you got to let it go. Okay, you need to let that go. Okay. And what about the finances? So, well, what what is still affecting Divine Feminine from the past life? Because they wanted me to explain that story, even though this isn't no longer occurring, but they wanted me to explain that. Okay. So self-love. So is the finances, it is, yes, <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, it's the finances is still affecting Divine Feminine. So why is the finances, this is going to be such a long video and I did not anticipate this. Here we go again. <laughs> why is the finances affecting Divine Feminine? And Divine Masculine could be mirroring this as well, right? Because we saw that or we've been seeing that and they agreed because I just saw the lovers. So what about the finances from the past life? X marks, marks the spot. That's what I just heard. What about the finances from a past life? Yeah, somebody has a, um, this is an obsession with materialism. That's the air sign. So how is this person preventing Divine Feminine from moving forward? Confirmation. How is this person, how are they preventing Divine Feminine? Because there's no action being taken on this person's part. And this person is the air sign coming in as a Leo. Or this person is a Leo. Or vice versa. It could be two different people. But, yeah, Spirit is saying this is someone who is coming in as Leo energy, and that is a Libra. Um, King of Pentacles. So he's resisting, so this person is resisting giving you a big offer and taking action, so it's kind of like keeping you stuck, like... How can she escape this? 63 could be significant here. How can she um, how can she remove this karma or get out of this? This feels like a binding. This is almost like he's trying to bind you this way. I don't know. This way. I just heard that. They're saying yes. It's divine masculine. Okay, so how can she escape this? How can Divine Feminine get rid of this, move past this financial blockage here? By being in your Divine Feminine essence, calling all your power back, Spirit is saying. Yep. Yeah. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. By being in a relationship with someone, it's going to help. So this is someone that could be coming your way. Who is this? Some of you could be a younger earth sign. Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo or you are attracting a Virgo. Yeah. This is a earth energy male. Some of you, it is a... Some of you are water sign females, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of you are attracting Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio males. Okay. This person is going to help you. So what is the past life with this person? 
how is this person going to help them? They're a medicine man. They're a star seed. So they're a star seed. And they're also a healer. So they're going to heal this for you. And what is the advice for Divine Feminine in regards to this person? Be open, not guarded. Okay. Trust the universe. Justice. Allow this good karma to come in and to remove this stuck energy. This is, this person's been trying to come in for a long time. For some of you, they've been trying to come in since you were 22. I just heard some of you could have, could be 25 years old. Some of you could be born in 95. Some of them have been trying to come in for five to six years. So allow this person to help. Okay, allow. Just be in a state of flow. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? This is nuts. Yeah, this is Cancer Energy again. Cancer and Pisces. This is a past life connection. Let this person heal you. Do not allow Divine Masculine in your life right now. That's what they're saying. Why is that? I feel like it's because this person is being toxic. Yep, told you. Queen of Wands, the tower. They're acting like a player. Knight of Cups. Allow this, um, this grown man energy that's coming in as the King of, of Pentacles to come in and end this energy. Because they're trying to give you an Ace of Pentacles. Okay? Let this devil energy go, Divine Feminine. This other person is coming in as the devil. Okay, you got to let that person go. I know this is your twin. This is somebody's twin. But they're just operating from just an ugly energy. Okay, because of finances. Because of money. They chose money. You need to work on forgiving them at this time. They chose money over love. Native American could be significant. This person could be Native American. Or they could just um, be... Uh, into that um, belief. Yeah, you're a high priestess. Why did this person choose money over love? Because I think that their health is bad. I think this person is sick. This person could have cancer or be sick and they know that they're not going to live very long. Greco-Roman could be significant. Yep, told you. That's why. Finances. This is why. There's, they're sick. Like, or their mother could be sick. Either they're sick or their mother is sick. Are they sick or is their mother sick? Or the mother of their children could be sick. Who's sick here in regard in relation to the divine masculine? Who's who has health problems? Who has health problems? Who is the Page of Pentacles? This is them. They've been sick for a while.
they've known this though they just don't didn't want to tell you because they knew that you would be really upset Why didn't they tell Divine Feminine? They knew that you would get a message or a download about this when it was time. Told you. They knew. That's all I'm going to talk about that. I don't like looking too much into that, but that's what I'm seeing. So, yeah, it's sad, but you can't allow this person to come back into your life um, and just use you or treat you negatively because they're ill. Okay. Yeah. If this person is watching, they're going to be pissed off by what I just said, but it's the truth. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, it's the truth. Okay, so let's look at um, what's holding back Divine Masculine from moving forward. The Divine Masculines who are doing their work and whatnot. And this other Divine Masculine isn't even doing their work. So the ones who are doing their work, what could be keeping them stuck tied to the past? Asia. So you guys could have had a past life in Asia here. A spouse. This was a marriage. Oop. So and wisdom. Atlantis. So you could be from Atlantis. Okay. And this is definitely probably a karmic spouse. Clarify the spouse, how the spouse is holding them back. Because the father in food and hunger. Because you have children with this person or a child. And I feel like you guys got through hard times because there, were, there was a lack of food. Okay, in your past life. So I feel like you remember this and you don't want to leave that because you're scared of this repeating because subconsciously, you know. Mm -hmm. So how are they going get, to get through that? So how can they remove that block? You could even have an like, eating disorder of some sort. Either you eat too much or... You don't eat enough. That's why. How can Divine Masculines get past this? Understanding that you're in a different time. Understanding that you have enough. Okay? Understand that you will always be provided for. Yeah, and that your children and your family will always love you, right? Like, your children will always love you, especially, okay? Yeah, this is something negative that's that you don't like. So you got to try to get past that energy, okay? So what should Divine Feminine be focused on today? Listen to your intuition. Speak your truth and do not let your limits, your fears limit you. So whatever you need to say, you need to say it. 
what is the avoidant? What should Divine Feminine avoid? Any regret. You need to avoid any regret. All right. This is growth. Okay. So keep on keeping on, basically. Okay. And what should Divine Masculine be focused on at this time? You feel rejected. You need to focus on this rejection. Because you're avoiding it right now. So you're numb. You're numb. You have disassociated. So this rejection is supposed to teach you your worth and your expectations at this time. This is what this rejection is supposed to be teaching you and giving you clarity over. Stop trying to control everything. Let go of control and trust the universe. Right, because this is a cycle that is trying to complete. Let go of control. You don't control anything. Nothing. You're not in control. You never was. You never will be. This is what you have to realize. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> Take action. Okay. Fire and water here. Separation. Fire puts out water. I don't know why they wanted to say that. Take action. Towards what is triggering you. Ooh. Take care of yourself. Raise your vibration. Listen to your intuition. Some of you need to connect to your passion and your emotion. And stop disassociating. Right. Because you know that you love your Divine Feminine. And that you want to be with Divine Feminine. You need to... <laughs> truth you need to be open to receiving tap in more into your feminine energy within so that you can be open to receiving okay and you need to be open to receiving truth and it also expressing your truth and get out of ego okay this is what spirit is saying like trust in divine timing get out of this guarded energy like you're very guarded at this time it's just too much so So what is preventing both of the twins right now from coming together? What is preventing the twins from coming together at this time? I just saw 28-22 on the timer. Spirituality and religion is preventing you from coming together. Some of you could be spiritual, other and the counterpart could be religious. Right? Spirituality and religion are separate. Spirituality doesn't abide by rules. Right? We listen to our intuition. We're, we listen to source. God. Right? That's who we listen to. Okay? Our creator. We don't read books written by men. Okay? And I'm sorry some of you may get offended. Some of the things in the Bible are true. Others are not. What did I always tell you? The greatest deception that the devil ever did was infiltrating the Bible. And if you do not believe me, then I'm sorry. Maybe one day you will. If you don't think, if you trust your government to the point where you think that the Bible isn't tainted, you're being deceived. Period. Period. The end. That is why Jesus wanted to awaken your third eye. <clears throat> Look at all the crap that we eat. Shit that's in our water. All of that calcifies our pineal gland, which is our third eye. You think that's done by mistake? No, that's done on purpose. What else is keeping the twins apart? 
This is so sad. Imprisonment or slavery and lessons and blessing, blessings. So some of us are, are still learning lessons at this time. So it's just not time, right? It's not time yet because we still have lessons to learn. Others are being stopped or they're scared of being stopped. Love life. Some of you are scared of going to jail or something. What is this imprisonment or slavery? Mm, slavery of the mind. Slavery to money. You're enslaved by the system. Yep, by money. Workaholics, constantly working. It's that finances shit again. So what, where are we headed in the next 24 to 48 hours? Clarify the vowels. Somebody could be rewriting vowels or going into a new soul contract. Divine Feminine is the mother. Divine Feminine is mother. Okay? Just like Divine Masculine is father. So Divine Feminine could be going into vowels, saying vowels. A farm could be significant. You could live on a farm or you could be going to move to a farm. What is farm? Clarify farm, please. Told you, some of you could be going to live on a farm with other people. in the next 24 to 48 hours. Mm. This is somebody's Divine Feminine. What Divine Feminine is this? Leo energy. Whose Divine Feminine is this? It is a Leo, or it could be someone, a Leo's, someone's Leo. Taurus is here. This is all four elements. The world is all four elements. This is Sagittarius as well. Five, five, five. That's positive change. So this is something positive. Yeah, they're saying yes, it's positive. Eight seventeen could be significant for some of you. Okay, anything else you want to say about the vows that this divine feminine is getting ready to take? Leo energy again. This female is walking away from being left out in the cold and taking action towards her life. Tired of being sad. She's went within and thought a lot about this. This is a new beginning for her. This is the ending of a karmic cycle. So good for you, whoever you are. Definitely isn't me. <laughs> um, um, no, a lot of you are like, it sounds like you're like, a lot of times people say that, and I'm like, uh, no, a lot of these readings do not resonate with me. Um, and I know that. So um, most actually do not, to be honest. 
So I know it's like other people I'm picking up, and sometimes you guys will message me and be like, thank you for the reading, it resonated. So I really enjoy that because, um, you know, I'm a very curious person. <laughs> so I know it's mostly feminines, divine feminines that watch me, but there are a few divine masculines that do as well. So anyways, um, let's get some affirmation cards. But um, I'm glad that someone is completing a karmic cycle. And the vows could even be a contract, you know, like a contract for the farm that this person is going to live on. Could even be living with other people, okay? Today I am learning. Today I will focus on learning to grow into a better person. Yeah, that's for Divine Feminine, so good job, okay? This could even be like a drug rehab for some of you or some kind of, um, I don't know, place to live healthier, you know? What is for Divine Masculine? Today I live in the present. I will start with a smile. I am in control of my attitude. So that's good. And what is an affirmation for both of, of the energies for everybody involved here? What do we all need to remember at this time? Today I will not be critical. Today I will not be critical of my appearance or actions. I am perfect the way I am. This is a big one. This one hits home, to be honest, because I've been very critical of my looks recently, especially my weight. I'm, I don't know if you guys know that, but I went into a, I was treated for an eating disorder at a facility when I was young. When I was 15, I was very underweight. Um, and I've always struggled with um, body dysmorphia and eating disturbances um, because of, I think it stemmed from childhood, to be honest, because I went a lot of times without food. Like, I know I've said this before in my readings, but, um, like, as a child, I went days without food. I mean, and I'm talking about left at home with siblings, two siblings, um, and didn't have any food. I remember eating a slice of cheese with peanut butter on it, and that's all we had. And I was in the middle of like, I lived in the country at this time, so I didn't have any store near me. Like, the nearest store was, like, two miles away. Actually, I think it was further than that. It was about three. So, and I was only 12, right? So, and I had younger siblings. So, like, I think that really, that living that way for so long, because that was when I lived with my mother, and I lived with my mother from the time I was born until I was 13. I didn't move in with my grandmother until I was 13. And she was a saint, okay? Um, but living that way for so long off and on, like not knowing when you're going to have food. Like even my brother suffered from that. Like when we moved in with my grandmother, he would hide food in the fridge. And my grandmother would find it. And it would break her heart because she had no idea of the extent of what we lived but she saw it when we came to live with her because of you know things that we did my brother was five um, years old um, when we went to live with her so but he carried over that right because he didn't know when we would have food again so and we had to ration um, when we didn't have a lot of food we had to ration food right um, so, I mean, it was rough, like, I tell you guys, like, being a light worker and, and, um, you know, coming to reincarnating in this type of life is not for the faint of heart, like, all the odds were stacked against me and my brother and my sister, and all of us are successful, thankfully, to my grandmother. Um... I don't know why I was needed to share that story, but yeah, I mean, so that really hit home. Spirits really touch and trying to open up my heart chakra. <laughs> um, it's pretty open, but I've been a little guarded these past two days, but trying to open up my heart chakra again. Don't do that. <laughs> um, trying to make me heal that. No. 
<laughs> meditate and contemplate. See, I told you the, the divine is trying to get me. I know what they're wanting me to do. They're wanting me to work on forgiveness for my mother, but I'm sorry. Like, that's a very difficult one for me, to be honest, because she's not changed and she tries to pretend that she has, but she hasn't. And it's heartbreaking for me. And it's just like, Forgiveness is a big one for that person. And my grandmother used to always tell me, you need to forgive her, you need to forgive her. But it's difficult. Like, <laughs> especially having children of your own. And I could never in my life imagine doing those things. Like, I just, anyways, I can't. Anyways, a message for, um, Spirit wanted me to give you a message for um, everybody, really. Just an overall general message. <clears throat> you are good enough. Spirit is trying to break me down. <laughs> You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So, yeah, that's a rough one. A lot of us, I think, are going through the same emotion, like feeling like we're not good enough. We're not skinny enough. We're not pretty enough. We don't have enough money. We're just not enough. Why didn't people choose us? Why? Did, why? Why? Right? Why do I have to go through this? Why is this my path? Why can't I just have a normal life? <laughs> I've always said that. Well, I just want a normal life. That's what I've always said. I've never had a normal life. <laughs> Ever. Still don't. Because of this journey. <laughs> but Spirit is like, you are good enough. You are good enough to live this life. Right? To be this divine feminine. You are good enough. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So here we go, Libra and Virgo. Earth, air. Grounded, spirituality. <clears throat> I don't know what. A new romantic cycle begins. So those are two dates we're going to look at. Um, so full moon in Virgo, let me look at the, <coughs> excuse me, okay, full moon in Virgo was March 7th, so that's already passed, um, yep, so something could have occurred at that time, March 7th is significant, maybe that's somebody's birthday, I don't know, 3-7. Three seven is significant though. New moon in Libra. Let's see when the new moon in Libra was. <laughs> or will be. Okay, October 14th. New moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I'm going to mark this on my calendar. I will be drawing a heart around October the 14th. And, ah, and this is definitely, <clears throat> March 7th honestly does not resonate with me. I have, not got, I have not gotten any downloads about March 7th. So if you have and you wish to share, you can always email me or message me. <clears throat> However, October the 14th does resonate with me because I keep seeing uh, pumpkins fall autumn stuff um i keep seeing halloween stuff i keep seeing you know fall decor so october 14th does resonate um three seven does not resonate with me so i i don't know maybe somebody else is getting downloads about that but i have not as of yet okay look red cardinals a lotus, 
That's a lamb. A white feather could be significant for some of you. Roses. You know what's funny? This tattoo here, I saved a tattoo that looks identical to this on a Shein uh, purchase. And I've been seeing these cats everywhere too. So that's what I have got. Oh, that's what I got for you guys. And if you guys get downloads and stuff like that, I do not mind you sharing with me. Or I always encourage you guys to write down your downloads. Um, or to save them at least somewhere, right? So. Ooh. Okay, anything you want to say about, oh my gosh. Ah, Aries and Taurus down here saying 2023 might be your year. Oh, Lord. That was a message for somebody. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Communication is key. Ooh! Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. New Moon and Gemini is this Sunday. So Spirit is talking to somebody telling you to make the first move. Be bold. Reach out for communication. Um, who, is, who is Spirit talking to at this time? 4646 on the timer. Who is Spirit talking to? This is someone, could be a Libra. <clears throat> we got Libra here. <clears throat> someone who has been stuck and got left out in the cold. And a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who has been being sneaky. You know if you're being sneaky or not. Right? You haven't been being the greatest person. So, I'm just saying. Spirit is telling you to be bold and make the first move. There's some stress here, but you need to do it. Okay. Jeez, Spirit, come on. I am tired. <laughs> They're scared. Scared of what, Spirit? What are they scared of? They're scared of texting or calling you. Why? Because you're high vibrational and they're not. That's why. I, I need to, um, I think that's what I'm going to do this weekend is make this deck <laughs> so I can stop. I just saw I miss you. Oh, this person misses you. Their heart chakra is blocked. You need to open your heart chakra. They don't know that their heart chakra is blocked. <sighs> you may want to send them a meme or something. They could be a Pisces, or they could be attached to a Pisces, or they, yeah. Lust. Aquarius, high vibe. You could be Aquarius, etc. Your heart chakra is open, though. So, that is what I have. I'm going to price this this weekend and see how much it's going to be for me to create this, because I love my deck that I created, but my cards keep bending. <laughs> All right.